around the building. Come on and magnify him. Come on and glorify him. Come on, we come to praise him on today. We come to praise him for his goodness and his mercy unto us. He's a mighty God. Come on. Now let me know that he's a mighty God and he's worthy of all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah, God. Come on, clap your hands all around the building. Hallelujah. building help me say say you made all things new yes you made all things new and I will follow you hey oh come on let's make a declaration oh you made you made a declaration forward no matter what I go to you made all things you made all come on talk to the Lord this morning come on all things you made all things new and I will follow you Jesus forward lift your voice and say you made all things new come on let the Lord know you made all things new. Hey, no man in the trial or tribulation. I will follow you forward. Oh, you made all things new. You made all things new. And I will follow. Come on, church. Follow you forward. If you believe that, I dare you to lift your voice all around the building and let the Lord know that you're going to follow you forward. Let the world know that you choose to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. You're going to follow him from this moment forward. forward. You made all things new. In 2024, I decree and I declare. No matter the situation, I chose to follow you. Hey, I dare you to declare you made all things new. You made all things new. You renew my mind. You renew my spirit. And I'm going to follow you forward. You renew. A right spirit within us, God, so that we may follow you forward. You made all things new. Make all things new. I'm going to follow you. Make all things new. And I will follow you forward. 
Come on, think about the goodness of the Lord and all that you have been through. And think about where he's taking you now. Think about where you've been, but I want you to focus on where you're going. How y'all done about? I need you to focus on where the Lord has taken you. He made all things new. He brought me out. He brought you out. He's taking you to a new place. I need you to say, for God, I'm going to live. And for God, I'm going to die. No matter the triumph, no matter the situation, I got my focus back. And I'm keeping my focus on the Lord. Oh, you made all things new. I'm going to follow you, Jesus. I'm putting my left foot in front of my right foot and I'm going to follow you forward. You made all things new. You made all things new. And I will follow you forward. I'm not going I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Come on, say it with me. Lift your voice, say, I'm not going back. Declare, I'm not going back. Make a declaration, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not going I'm not going, I'm not going back. I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going back. I'm not going back, I'm not going back. I'm not gonna think like I thought last year. I'm not gonna talk the way I talked last year. I'm not going back, I'm not going back. I'm not gonna believe. I believe last year I'm not, I'm not going back. I'm not, I'm not going back, not going back. Not going back, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Not going back, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Not going back, not going I'm not going back. Come on and praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Take a moment and praise the name of the Lord. Oh, take a moment and praise the name of the Lord. If you know you're not going back, if you know you've been through hell and high water, if you know you've been through the trials and the tribulations, if you know for a fact that no weapons formed against you will ever prosper, you make a declaration. I'm not going back to the way things used to be. I'm not going back to the way I used to think. I'm not going back. I'm not going. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. I'm moving ahead. I'm moving ahead. I'm moving ahead. Come on, say it with me. I'm moving ahead. 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 I'm moving ahead.
Worship him right there. Come on, respond to him. Let him hear the fruit of your lips. Come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Come on, open your mouth and talk to him. Let him know that you thank him for the things he has done. Come on, let him know that you worship him. Let him know that you appreciate him for what he has done and everything he's going to do and everything he has brought you out of. Let him know that you appreciate God a hand cup of praise. Come on. Anybody free in the house of the Lord today? 
Come on, anybody free in the house of the Lord today? Come on. I want to clap a little louder than before. Come on. I want to shout a little louder than before. I want to praise a little louder than before. I want to give a praise a little louder than before.
your way out of your thoughts. Praise your way out of the problem. Praise your way. Praise your way. You're coming out. Hallelujah. You're coming out. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your way. Praise your way. Praise your way. Come on, make some noise. Come on, make some noise. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Come. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding. Come on, church. My soul is blessed. It's just a blessing. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bow. Come on, say it. No more chains holding. My soul, My soul is resting. You just a blessing. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Come on, give God a hand cup of praise. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Come on, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. He brought you into this new year. Not for you to sit on him. He brought you into this new year. Not just to sit on him. I dare you to praise the Lord in the hell. Praise the Lord in the hell. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, we're not, we not naive to know that we told God we're going all in in 2024 and we expected just to walk through a bed of roses, hallelujah, and that nothing was going to happen, right? We're not that naive, right? It says we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, hallelujah, hallelujah. So yes, we gave God a yes. Yes, we surrendered. Yes, we said, God, in 2024, we're going all in. And then came January the 1st. Hallelujah. Come on, I'm talking to somebody. Then came January the 2nd. Third, fourth, life kept lifing. And you like, God, if I knew all this was going to happen, I wouldn't have gave you the yes that I was going all in. Come on. Hallelujah. But we can't let that turn us back, right? We can't let that turn us back. Hallelujah. I got joy in my soul. God is in control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day, but you can't stop my praise. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war. This means war. Control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all this well. He's attacking every day, but he can't stop my praise. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war. This means war. Got joy in my soul. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day, but I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war. Come on, clap those hands. This means, this means war. Come on, I 
I need you to tell the devil this thing. Come on, let her know. Oh, you can't have my family. You can't Come have on. my family. You can't have my increase. No. You can't have my increase. You can't have my breakthrough. You can't have my Come on, let her know. I say you can't have my, you can't have my, you can't, you can't, you can't. I plead, I plead, I plead, I plead Come on. the blood. Oh, I plead the blood. I plead, Come I plead, on, plead the blood. The blood. Say it like you mean it. Say it with daughter. You can't have my increase. No. Come on. I feel a shift. You can't have my breakthrough. You can't have my breakthrough. I say you can't have my, you can't have my, you can't, you can't, you can't. I plead, I plead, I plead the blood. Oh, I plead the blood. Come on, I feel something. Oh, I plead the blood.
to be in the house of the Lord on this first Sunday of 2024. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God has brought you thus far and he's brought you here today. Hallelujah. And for that alone, he deserves a good praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just a few announcements on this Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Online, first and foremost, we thank you for still rocking with us, for still tuning in with us. We invite you, please come in, join us for fellowship. Hallelujah. We have service every Sunday. Service starts at 1230, but we also have Sunday school that starts at 1130. And if you're interested in being in discipleship, classes have started. They start at 11 o'clock. So please, if you want to get connected, feel, feel free to contact us. We'll give you the information so that you can plug in. As a reminder, we do have prayer call every Monday at 5.30 a.m. If you like the number to get connected, please let us know. And at 10.30 on Thursdays, please let us know if you would like the phone number to get connected. And we do have Bible study here in person every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. So we invite you to please come in and join us for Bible studies on Tuesdays. And on Wednesdays, if you like your teenager to get connected with Sister Kim Campbell, they do do their prayer call every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. So please reach out to her and our men. They have their prayer Zoom at 8 o'clock on Wednesdays. So please reach out to Elder Nehemiah if you would like to get connected. Also, on this evening, we will be joining our friends at Turning Point to celebrate their anniversary <laughs> services at 6 o'clock. So if you're able to fellowship with them, please join us as we travel to fellowship with them. Amen. Praise on everybody. Amen. We'll go ahead and jump right into the word. Is that all right? Amen. It's good for us to be here. It's always good to be in the house of the Lord. Look at somebody and say, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Amen. We go ahead and stand with us. Go ahead and stand with us. Lady Valley said something very good just a moment ago when we talked about our goals and our prayers for 2024 and how we were going to walk into this year and amen and irregardless of the attacks and the struggles and the challenges and uh, you've got to expect that stuff right right man that's born of a woman is a few days and what full of trouble right so 14 and 1, it's full of trouble. That's life. Everybody say, that's life. That's life. That's life. Amen. But uh, we signed up not to go into 2024 by ourselves. Amen. How many signed up with the Lord uh, going before us? How many signed up with a mindset that, God, if you before me, you're more than the world against me? How many of was that your prayer? See, if that's your prayer, 
you don't have to worry about the weapons and the tools that forms against us because the Bible already declared that they what? Shall not prosper. Look at somebody say they won't prosper. I need you to say it with some conviction. Say th those weapons will not prosper. All right. And if you believe that with all of your heart, I want you to take a 30 seconds. Amen. I just want you to thank God. I want you to thank God for his promises. All right. He said those weapons shall not prosper. All right. So so irregardless of what it looks like and what it feels like and what it sounds like, God said it will not prosper. And if God said it, all right, God is not like man that he shall what? That he should not, he should lie, right? So he is not going to lie. God, he is able, he has the capacity, amen, and the wisdom and the power to fulfill every promise, y'all. And so, and so let's hold on to what God has promised us. And so uh, we're gathering here, y'all. We're not gathering, fighting for victory, right? We already have the victory. We've already overcome, Okay. And so we're going to enter into 2024. We're not waiting to the end of 2024 to see God if God answers all of our prayers, right? Don't wait to the end if, and then your praise is predicated on if God came by. See, faith says, amen, uh, this is January 7th. I'm not waiting to December 31st. I'm going to put my trust and confidence in him now, and I'm going to declare the victory now, amen. All right, we're declaring we're going to walk in the victory now. All right, and so we live like victory is already ours. All right, and so and so if you if you're being attacked now, you walk like you've already won that battle. All right, devil, I I see what you're trying. I I, I feel you, but you know what? I already got this victory. It's already in the bag. It's already in the bag. I dare somebody, Amen, to give God a praise like it's already in the bag right now. Come on, is that, is that a real praise like it's already in the bag? It's already done. This is the confidence that we have in him, all right? This is the confidence that we have in him. And so we're grateful, amen, on this, this Sunday, this first Sunday uh, of the new year. This is a big year for us. I told you, um, God promised, he declared to us that this is going to be the most fulfilling year, amen, of our lives. All right, because this is going to be the year that we're going to make a decision. Everybody say, you got to make a decision. This is the year that we're going to make some decisions. We're going to make some sound decisions. All right, we're going to make some decisions with understanding. And, all right, and so uh, this year as we make these decisions, we're making a decision for God. All right, this is why this is the year that we're going all in. Right, sometimes, you know, you hear the phrase, don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? All right, that's what you do. That's, that's how you think in the world, right? But in, in the kingdom, amen, uh, everything is for him. Everything is given over to him, right? Amen, because God is able. He's able to do exceeding, the Bible declares, and abundantly above all we can ask or think, right? According to what? Power by shot power, right? According to the power that works in us. And so we're going to see God move this year. We're going to experience, amen, some amazing feats. All right, because as we're going all in, amen, we're going to grow in our relationship with him. We're going to grow in our intimacy with him. And the Bible declares they that shall know their God, right? So the prophet, they that know their God, they're going to be strong and they're going to do exploits. They're going to accomplish some major things. They're going to, they're going to win every battle over the enemy. All right. All right. So you ought to clap your hands. Amen. You ought to clap your hands. Amen. Amen. If you want, let's go to 1 Kings chapter 18. 1 Kings 18. First Kings 18, we're going to read verses 17 uh, through 21, and then I'm going to skip down a bit. We're going to read verse 36 through 39. But it's 1 Kings 18, verse 17 through 21. You have it? Say amen. amen. Let's go ahead and read it all together. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? And he answered, 
I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, and that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Balaam. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of the groves, 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people, verse 21, and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him, not a word. And the people answered him, not a word. And the people answered him, not a word. Let's go down to verse 36. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day, everybody say this day, that thou art God in Israel and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me that this people may know that thou art the Lord God and that thou hast turned their hearts back again. Verse 38, then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. Verse 39, and when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, the Lord he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. Verse 39, and when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, the Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. Lady Valerie said, you got your uh, fatigues on today. It seemed like you about to go to battle. Amen. Um, Verse 39, and when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said something. They declared something. The Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. I'm going to minister for a few moments on this theme right here. Don't get quiet now. All right. Don't get quiet now. You can have a seat. All right. You can have a seat, but don't get quiet now, all right? Look at somebody and say, don't get quiet now, all right? Don't get quiet now, amen, amen. Uh, uh, this, has been a, uh, this has been a new year, this last year, amen, and even coming into 2024, this is, this is a year of exposure, right? This is a year, amen, and it's not really even exposure, because it's a year where the adversary is like, I ain't scared, all right? I ain't scared. I'm, I'm going to rev my neck up, and I'm going to show you who I am, and, and I'm going to be who I'm going to be, right? And, and, and the adversary is like, you just going, what? You ever seen somebody like, what? Right? This is who I am, what? Amen. And so uh, we're living in an hour Hallelujah. Amen. Even, uh, we know the world's going to be the world, right? We're not, don't be surprised when the world is the world. The world, they're going to do what the world does. They're going to sin. They're going to lie. They're going to cheat. Amen. They're going to manipulate. They're going to steal. Uh, they're going to fornicate. They're going to they're gonna do everything that the world does, right? Because all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, right? The lust of the eyes and what? Uh, the pride of life. These things are not of the Lord, right? These are of the world. And so the world are going to do things that satisfy their flesh. The world is going to do things that uh, make them feel happy, that makes them feel comfortable, um, that pleases them. Amen. And so the, the challenge is, amen, uh, when this fight uh, of the world, amen, it, it begins to infiltrate the church, amen, and so, and so the same things that the world enjoys, uh, now the, the church is uh, the visible church, everybody say the visible church, 
All right, because there's a difference. Amen. There's a true church and there's the visible church. And so, so the visible church, amen, they, they, they're finding themselves, amen, and you see it all over social media. Uh, we, we, are, we are partnering with deception, right? We, we are partnering with deception like never before, all in, uh, in, 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 the, in the name of, amen, uh, church growth, all in the name of, amen, uh, uh, God loves everybody, and, and, um, and this, is how you, this is how you get people to come to church. This is how you get people to get a hold of a relationship with God, and so, listen, I don't have authority to pastor no one else's church, praise God, all right, uh, and I'm not trying to go pastor no one else's church. I'm not here to talk down or, or, or whatever other people are doing. Amen. Uh, my authority is in here, right here. Amen. And so uh, I got to give an account, right? I got to give an account uh, to God. I have to account for folks' souls. I got to account for your souls before the Lord. Amen. And so if I got to give an account for your soul, Amen. I, I understand as Elder Elder talks about all the time. He, he talks about a hot hell, right? There's a hot hell uh, waiting if I don't um, if I don't be accountable unto God. If I don't speak what God says, speak, and if I don't, Amen, help the people. If I'm not a watchman uh, and I and see the the enemy coming and and not cry loud, Amen, Hallelujah. Uh, as Isaiah 58 says, the Bible says, cry loud and spare not, right? Amen. Lift your voice as a trumpet, the Bible says, right? And and let folks know uh, where the sin is. Let them be aware. Help them to understand that there's sin. You better cry loud what's happening and what we're experiencing. Like a visible church, amen. And that the people are not crying. in the church amen and 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 it's so prevalent now uh that that you know like i said the adversary like what the church folks is uh, clearly living contrary amen to god's directives and to god's word and to uh, god's ways and they like what what you gonna do about it right um if if you don't like it shut up <laughs> go figure right <laughs> go figure uh, but I, I come to tell you today, amen, it's not the hour, it's not the time, amen, for the true church to be quiet. Y'all, don't get quiet now, all right? Don't get quiet now. Don't get scared, amen, hallelujah, because it, it, it may look it may look good, right? The Bible says there is a way that seems right, right? It seems right. It seems like you're winning. It seems like church growth. It seems like, you know, amen, uh, uh, people are getting a hold of God. But one of the things that really uh, irritates God is when we mix the holy and the profane, amen. You got to know the difference between what's holy and what is profane. You got to understand that God is like the Bible. Bible says in the epistles, he is light and, and there is no darkness in him at all. Everybody say at all, right? There's no darkness in him at all. And because when you understand that, amen, God doesn't mix and dibble and dabble, amen, and, and, and things that are profane, hallelujah. God doesn't need to use profane things, amen, uh, uh, to, to, to show who he is or to, to win people to him. We were in Myers last night. And I got, I got uh, irritated. I got irritated, all right? Uh, Lady Valley said, me too. I was irritated because even in Meyer, they, they, they call themselves magnifying Jesus. And so when you go into the craft section in Meyer, the craft and the home makeover section, uh, I saw this nice little sign. And from far away, you're like, oh, man, that sign is cool. Right? And so the big old sign that you put in your house is all capital letters. I love Jesus. I'm like, all right, Myers. Y'all trying to y'all trying to get a little, you know, y'all trying to love Jesus a little bit, right? I love Jesus. But then you gotta walk a little closer. And when you get a little closer to the I love Jesus in, in big letters, in little letters underneath it says, but I cuss a little. 
I love Jesus, but I cuss a little. And I'm, and I'm just in my mind. I'm just mad because I'm like, and, and I thought in my mind, I told I said, if I go over any of y'all houses and I see that sign in y'all house, y'all better move that sign and y'all know pastor coming to your house. It may be funny to you and your family, but if I see it in your house, you might get a rebuke. You, no, you're going to get a rebuke, all right? I'm going to just have to tell you, all right? Look, uh, it's one thing to love Jesus, and, and I understand we have our flaws. Can nobody, nobody say that they're without sin, right? The Bible says, can no man say he is without sin? Because if you say without sin, he's a liar, right? So no one can say they are without sin. But let me tell you, uh, we're in an hour where even the church is trying to magnify sin. The Bible says, oh, magnify the Lord, right, with me, and let us exalt his name together. Why? Why are we allowing, amen, what they do in the world? Why are we allowing that same defiled, amen, deceptive spirit to enter into the church? I'm saved. I love Jesus, but I, I cuss a little. Well, let me tell you, how about let's work on not cussing. Hallelujah. Come on. Let the words be in my mouth and the meditations of my heart, right? Uh, let them be acceptable in thy sight. Right, Lord, oh Lord, my strength. You're able to help me. So if I cuss a little, God, help me not cuss at all. If I lie a little, help me not lie at all, right? All right? If I steal a little, help me not steal at all, all right? If I got a fornicating spirit, get it out of me. Anybody really want to be saved in here? All right? Let's see, I got my fatigues on for a reason, amen, because this spirit, if we, don't, if we don't say something, if we don't stand up, hallelujah, amen, we'll get up in church and we'll be jumping and shouting and, and we'll be singing the songs and, and God don't be nowhere in this place, hallelujah, amen. I don't want to be singing and dancing and shouting and ain't nobody getting delivered, ain't nobody being saved, ain't nobody... Uh, that their minds is being unlocked to think, amen, uh, uh, how God thinks. And I, I, I want to be among some people, hallelujah, that want to get a hold of God for real. Anybody in here want to get a hold of God for real? Amen. See, this is, if we're going to get a hold of him for real, this is why we got to go all in this year. It's time to go all in. It's time to get a hold, amen, of that which will keep us and sustain us and settle us and establish us. Amen. Proverbs 23, write it down. Proverbs 23, verse 23. The Bible says, by the truth. By the truth. Why are, we buy, why are we buying into the world system? Why are we buying into, amen, uh, the visible church's method, amen? The visible church's method, it looks like it's church growth. It's look like, it looks like it, they're winning souls. That is not soul winning, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Uh, and when you understand, a lot of it is transfer anyway, if we be honest with ourselves, amen. Hallelujah. But here's what we want, amen. We ought to want to get a hold of some truth, amen. We ought to want to buy something, amen, that's going to be worthwhile. Anybody, nobody want no cheap clothes, no cheap shoes. Nobody, you, you don't wear, you, nobody in here likes anything cheap if you can afford the uh, the high price stuff, amen. I, I, but let me, let me help you understand. We don't have to settle for a cheap gospel. All right, uh, y'all ain't hearing me tonight. All right, Let, we're not settling for a cheap gospel. Hallelujah. Come on, because this gospel, first of all, you can't buy it anyway. Come, come buy. The, the, the prophet says, come buy even those that have no money. Why? Because this gospel is of such great price and such great value that you can't even put a price tag on it. Amen. And so that's for it's something that we can willingly get and receive. And this is why Proverbs 23. 323 we got to buy the truth let's get a hold of something that's that's been proven the bible declares the word of god has been purified seven times over yeah. it's pure it's pure and so when we get a hold of this truth the bible says sell it not 
Let's not sell it in order to not sell it, in order to not lose our way, in order to not fall into deception. There's another part of that scripture that we got to get a hold of. You not only do you buy truth and sell it not, you got to get a hold of wisdom, right? You got to get a hold of wisdom. You got to get a hold of instruction. And you got to get a hold of understanding. Everybody say wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Everybody say wisdom instruction and understanding see this is why this is why the church is being duped right now amen because there's no wisdom hallelujah there's no wisdom to to help the church navigate of what looks right and what seems right amen and so the church is forgetting amen there's we're being blinded by the god of this world it's blinding the church of of the dead path the dead end that's on the other side of the way that seems right and so because there's a lack of wisdom in God's house, amen, uh, we just go with the flow. Well, well, they can play this. Well, we can do this too. Well, I like how they had that. So let's try that, amen. And, and so that is the wisdom of man, amen. That is human wisdom. Let me tell you, if you're going to be saved in this hour, you cannot trust in the wisdom of man, but we got to trust in the power of God. Anybody, hallelujah, still believe in the power of God? We got to believe in the power of God in this hour. Amen. This is not the hour to lean to our own understanding. Y'all ain't talking to me. Amen. Maybe y'all wanted a cute little message today about faith and blessings and feeling good. Amen. But let me tell you, you can be blessed and feel good and you can have all of those things if you get a hold of wisdom, right? You can have all of those things if we get a hold of instruction. We don't want to be taught in this way. Amen. You got to be taught how to be saved. We got to be taught how to live the, the straight and narrow way. Straight is the gate, Matthew 7, right? Amen. And narrow is the way. Hallelujah. Why? Right? Because wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And the Bible says there's going to be many that are going to go that way. Many are going to go down the path of destruction, right? There's only going to be few that are going to find that straight and narrow way. There's only going to be a few folks that understand. I got to get a hold of wisdom. Everybody say wisdom. wisdom. Everybody say instruction. And everybody say understanding. All right? So that's why only few go in the narrow way. Amen? Because it costs you something to get a hold of wisdom. It costs you something to sit down and be taught and be accountable and be pastored and be trained and be nurtured in the way of holiness. I'm talking about the beauty of holiness. I'm not talking about religion religion and, and, and controlling kind of uh, methods and rules on this is what you need to do to be saved. No, I'm talking about the beauty of holiness holiness, amen, that you get a hold of a love of God, a love for the truth, and because we got a love for God's truth, I willingly, like Paul said, he said, I make myself a prisoner, amen, I make myself, I give myself over to the way and the word of God, because I know the word is not bound, the word is not here to control and, and force me into anything, it's my love, amen, I force myself, I force myself to be holy, anybody want to have that kind of mentality? Now, I force myself to love you because my flesh don't want to love you. My flesh want to satisfy myself, amen. But I want to be like Moses. The Bible says Moses chose to suffer with the people rather than to, hallelujah, endure the pleasures of sin for the season, all right? He chose to suffer rather to enjoy the pleasures of, I ah, see y'all ain't hearing me, amen. See, see, sin is pleasurable, all right? Sin is pleasurable. We talked about it, right? Amen. It ain't, it ain't all ugly and bad. It's, it's bad, obviously, amen. But it's presented in a way that's very pleasurable and, and, and self-gratifying, right? And so, and so that's why many are falling and dibbling and dabbling into sin. This is why, amen, folks want to take down, hallelujah, uh, uh, of a stance in their faith and, and, and church, amen, uh, because we want, to, we want to live a pleasure and enjoyable life. Amen. Hallelujah. But I come to tell you, amen, this adversary ain't playing no games, y'all. Why do we play so many games with God? It used to be a game we played. 
Brother Kobe here, he would do this game really good. I, I didn't bring my ball. But we used to play this game called Monkey in the Middle. Right? Y'all remember that game, Monkey in the Middle? All right? And so we had a, we had a ball, and we had a couple, two on this, one on this side, one on this side, uh, somebody in the middle, and we're throwing this ball back and forth. Hallelujah. Nobody wants to be the monkey in the middle. Right? Nobody wants to be the monkey in the middle. You silly if you just want to keep running around. Oh, oops, over here. Let me keep running back and forth. Let me keep running back and forth. Right? No. You, you start, I talked about Kobe because I, I seen Kobe play the game before. Right? And, and Kobe is feisty. Brother Kobe is feisty. He don't, he don't just play that game for fun, y'all. He don't like to be in the middle. He gets mad when he's in the middle. Okay? And, and he will fight you. He'll bite you. He'll trip you. He going to do whatever he got to do. Raise your hand, Brother Kobe. Where he at? Raise your hand, Brother Kobe. He over there in children's back. All right? All right? Brother Kobe, y'all, he don't play that monkey in the middle stuff. I got to get out this middle. All right? Uh, because, because it's spinning me. I'm, 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 make, I'm being made a sport of. Right? All right? Uh, and, so, and so he going to do what he can. Why? There's a church... Amen. We allow the adversary to let us be the monkey, right? We just the monkey in the middle, right? We, we in the middle of, of deception and on the other side, deception, right? Uh, hallelujah. And so the church is just being spun and the church is just playing games. The devil just playing games, hallelujah, uh, with the church. Y'all, God don't play games, amen. This is the devil and, the, and his angels and we in the middle just being deceived after deception after deception, right? Um, falling for every wind of doctrine. Oh, this is the where the wind blowing this year, all right? So let's let's go with this flow, amen. This is how they're growing churches. This is how they're getting a hold of young people, all right? Oh, okay. Well, they're doing it over here. Well, let me try this wind of doctrine over here, and let's let's try this teaching and and this activity and try to to lead people in. Hallelujah. Oh, but I'm I'm, I'm I hope you understand something, y'all. We got to have that same feistiness in the spirit. That devil, I'm not gonna be your mother in the middle. Hallelujah. I will not be the one. Hallelujah. That's tossed to and fro. Amen. Don't know which way I'm going. Don't know up from down. Don't know what God is from what the adversary is. Amen. Hallelujah. I need something that's real. We got to get a hold. Amen. Of a word. Amen. That will bring about some revelation to us and help us to know. Hallelujah. Amen. That the God that I serve, he is more than enough. He's all-powerful. He's all-knowing. Amen. He's able to keep and sustain us. He's able to save us from our sins. Anybody believe the gospel? Hallelujah. Come on. Don't get quiet now. Amen. Come on. Don't get quiet now. Paul said it in Romans 1. He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, y'all. This is not the time to be ashamed. This is not the time to be scared because it looks like what they're doing is working. Amen. Look, y'all. Hallelujah. You just stay doing it the Bible way. Amen. Just stay doing it the Bible way. Amen. I'm telling you, come on. When you do the world way, you're going to get world results but when you do it the bible way you're gonna get bible results this is why paul said i'm not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ for it is the power of god unto salvation anybody still believe in the power of god we got to believe in the power. Amen. Come on. Come on. Let's not take down in our homes, people of God. All right. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's not take down in our homes. Let's stand on this gospel. Y'all, let's stand on this doctrine. Hallelujah. The enemy got us spunt, y'all. Hallelujah. Everybody moving away from their foundation. They're moving away from their old landmark. The Bible says remove not the old landmark right? There's landmarks for out here for a reason. Landmarks help us to navigate where we're going, amen? And so, and so there's old landmarks and word. There's, there's old, hallelujah, established, amen, things that, uh, practices that help us, amen, to go and get to where we need to be. Hallelujah. And, and if we're not careful, hallelujah, amen, now we, we, are, we are moving these. We're removing these landmarks. What are we doing? We're going away from our identity. 
All right, come on. Let's not be afraid to be who God called us to be in this season. All right, let's not be afraid to be who God called us to be in this season. Hallelujah. Everybody want to move away and be, well, we're non-denominational. All right, that's cute. All right. But the problem with non-denominational, more often times than not, amen, nobody knows what they believe. Nobody knows who they are. All right. Well, what doctrine do you believe? What doctrine do you stand on? Well, we're non-denominational, so we don't want to offend anybody. We just want everybody to love Jesus. I mean, that's cool. That sounds great. Amen. Uh, but I need something with clarity. Amen. I need something, amen, that's been proven and sound and tested over the generations. Y'all, let me tell you, I stand here, amen, amen. And I, I'm not saying, hallelujah, I'm apostolic because of a denomination. I'm not saying I'm Pentecostal because of denomination, amen. I mean, that can kick rocks, amen. But let me tell you, I will declare, hallelujah, amen. I, I follow this apostolic way because I believe in the apostles' doctrine, amen. I believe in the power of Jesus' name. I believe, amen, uh, uh, that, that legal right and access and authority that we have. Come on, as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, John chapter 1, even to them that believe on his name, y'all. Amen. We can kick rocks with all that other stuff and arguments. Amen. Uh, I believe in the power of Jesus. I believe when Jesus get a hold of us for real, he knows how to work in us both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. He knows how to raise us up. He knows how to, he knows how to help us put on Christ. Amen. Put on a covering, put on some natural covering. He knows how to help us. Amen. He knows how to sanctify us. He knows how to cleanse us. Amen. And this is why we will believe the way we believe. Amen. I believe in the Pentecost experience. Amen. Because I believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got a lot of dry devils going down that water and they coming up wet devils. Amen. Because they won't believe. They won't, they won't follow instruction. They won't get a hold of, hey, being born again of the water and the spirit. Amen. And so they don't have power. Hallelujah. And I don't know about you. I'm not smart enough, wise enough. I'm not strong enough to live this life apart from the Holy Ghost. Amen. I, I can't not cuss you out or fight you if you do too much to me if I don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. I can't want to clap back and get at you. Amen. If you betray me and you do some, some evil things to me, if the Holy Ghost don't have, I wish I had some witnesses in here, amen, that will testify with your praise, amen. It had to be the Holy Ghost that kept me. If the Holy Ghost didn't keep me, I would have lost my mind. If the Holy Ghost didn't keep me, I would have went astray. If the Holy Ghost didn't keep me, I would have made some decisions that would have tore everything up, amen. If the Holy Ghost wasn't here for me, comforting me. The Holy Ghost is the comforter. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. Amen. And this is what we lean on. This is what we got to get a hold of. We got to hold fast this profession of our faith. Don't get quiet now. Don't get quiet now. Hallelujah. Here's the beauty. And I'm getting this text. And I'm going to close out right here. Amen. Hallelujah. In 1 Kings chapter 18, the beauty of thing about, amen, the word of God, that there's nothing new under the sun. The Bible declares there's nothing new under the sun. And so there's no new methods and tricks and of the adversary. He, he has the same tricks, right? Uh, lust of the flesh, lust of, of the eyes, and pride of life. That's all he does. He just, he just uses different methods, but it's the same trick. Hallelujah. Even here, amen, and, and kings, you have, hallelujah, God's people, amen, who have lost their way. They lost their way. Yes, they believe the God of Israel. They believe in the God of Israel, but they found a more pleasurable God. 
right? They found another, a more pleasurable way, and, and they can dibble and dabble and sin and, 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 and kind of live, live the best of both worlds, all right? They tried to live the best of both worlds, right? They want to, they reverence God just enough not to totally, totally leave him, amen. Uh, they, they had a thought of who God is, amen. Uh, but they were given over, amen, to the pleasures of life with this false God, amen. Uh, Balaam, ba- I mean, Baal, all right? And so as they are living their life, I thank God for God's prophets, amen. God always has a prophet. God always has a mouthpiece, a word that will come and reach us where we are. Hallelujah. Because God loves us so much. Amen. And so even when we dibble and dabble in sin and find ourselves being sported monkey in the middle, God sends a word to let us know hey, 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 uh, uh, this is not where I designed for you to be. Amen. I need you to come up out of this lifestyle. I need you to come up out of these, amen, this secret pleasures and, and secret life. Amen. Uh, I got a better life for you. And so he began to send the prophet, hallelujah, Elijah, amen, uh, to the to the pe- to the nation of the people, amen. And then he began to call them to the carpet. He called him to the carpet, amen. The king begins to get upset. Why are you here to trouble me? Why are you here to trouble this nation? He like, listen, you're troubling your own house, amen. Hallelujah. You're troubling your own house. That is something we better get a hold of, amen. If we're going to be all in, let's not trouble our own houses in 2024 by trying to live, amen, a double life. Let's not trouble our marriages. Let's not trouble our children, amen by being inconsistent with them. Hallelujah. Let's not sing the gospel on Sunday and we sing in hallelujah. Amen. Everything else during the week. Amen. Let's make it plain. Let's be consistent. Amen. Hallelujah. Because if we don't, amen, we're going to trouble our homes. You're the one that's troubling your home, Ahab, amen. But here's what I need you to do. I need you to gather, amen, all of the prophets, and I need you to meet me at Mount Carmel. I need you to come and bring all of your people with you, all of your 450 prophets of Baal and all of your 400 prophets that are in the groove, all right? Amen. That is 850 false prophets. I need you to bring them all to the carpet. Amen. See, this is why you got to know. Amen. This is why you can't afford to be quiet. See, when you really know who God is. Amen. And you really understand the power of God. Amen. The oneness of God. Amen. And his capacity. I don't care how much the adversary rises up against us. Amen. I don't care how much he tries to intimidate us. Amen. You ought to make up in your mind. Hallelujah. For Christ. I live and for Christ I'll die. Amen. I'm going to stand on my faith. Amen. Call your little raggedy false prophets to the carpet. Amen. And so the Bible lets us know that in verse 21, he said, Elijah came to all the people and they began to declare a thing. How long, amen, halt ye between two opinions, all right? How long are you going to be caught? How long are you going to be stuck? Amen. Amen. Trying to live in two worlds. Amen. If the Lord be God, follow him. Right? And if Baal, if it's Baal, then follow him. All right? But let's not be raggedy and mix it all together. Let's not be raggedy, amen. Well, this is how we get people to church, all right? Well, this is how we're going to, you got to get them in, and then you start preaching Jesus. Now, how about you just preach Jesus? If my name be lifted up in the earth, he said, I'll draw all men unto me. All right? Hallelujah. How long are we halted? between two opinions. How long will we, come on, how long will we be stuck trying to make a decision if I'm going to go all in? Hallelujah. God said this is the year we're going to go all in. Amen. How, when are we going to make a decision? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be hit and missing in my prayer life. I'm not going to be hit and missing in my time with God. I'm getting all in in this year. Amen. My mind is going to be all in. My 
soul, my heart is going to be all in. God, teach me how to love the Lord thy God with all of my heart, all of my mind, all of my soul, and all of my strength. Anybody want to be all in in 2024? Come on. God is calling us to be all in. God is calling us to be committed to the things of the Lord. Amen. God is calling us to make some decisions. Amen. Hallelujah. I can't be dibbled and dabbling in some things that's turning my heart from God that is causing me to lose my focus and, and what God is calling me to do. I can't afford, amen, to allow all these opportunities to make me get confused, amen. Ah, if you're going to see anything in this hour, you need to see Jesus, amen. Because if we can just see Jesus, then we can see the way, amen. If we can see Jesus, we can see truth. If we can see Jesus, we can see the life. Come on, people of God. Come on, this is the hour we got to see. It, you got to see clearly in this hour. And until we get all in, we won't see clearly. Amen. Until we get all in, hallelujah, amen, we'll allow this appetites of our flesh, this appetites, amen, the appetites of men are never satisfied, y'all. It's never satisfied. We're always figuring and going after something, trying to satisfy this lustly flesh. But ah, God is looking for some people that will hunger and thirst for righteousness in this hour. Amen. I don't, I don't want to be filled up with the cares of this world. I don't want to be filled up with deception. I don't want to be filled up with false friendships and token friendship. I want to be filled up, hallelujah, with the things of God. Are you halted? Hallelujah. If it's God, follow him. If it's Baal, follow him. It's a knowing. Imagine a prophet, he's annoying. It's annoying, all right? Make up your mind. If you're going to be saved, let's be saved, all right? Throw that stupid sign away. I love Jesus, but I cuss. You don't love Jesus. You don't love him. Well, I do love him. No, you don't. Because if you loved him, even if you did cuss, I'm not acknowledging it. I'm not acknowledging it, amen. I'm not boasting in it, what I'm saying. What I am acknowledging, God, I love you, but, but I, I cuss a little. God, God, purge me, cleanse me, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. God, I can't be like this. I can't be like this. But here's where we are. Amen. There's a challenge. There's a there's a there's confliction and, 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 and people are stuck. And the Bible says, and, and they and the people answered him not a word. The people were stuck. They couldn't even answer him. And that's what happens when you mix holy and profane. You get confused. Now you don't really know what's God and what's of this world. Or, or if you don't even know if God is in something or if God ain't in something. You don't even know if God's saying it or if God ain't saying it. Because there's so much mixture in our spirits. Come on. Come on, we got to cut out. We got to cut out this mixture in 2024. We got to cut out this unholy stuff, amen. We got to cut out this profane stuff. We got to cut out rebellion in 2024. We got to cut out disobedience in 2024. We got to cut this stuff out, all right? We got to cut it out, amen, because it's colluding, it's clouding our, 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 our perception and understanding. We, we don't under, we're not getting a hold of true instruction and wisdom and understanding, but we're getting a hold of the wisdom of this world and the instruction that's coming from the God of this world, and, and we're understanding the ways of the world. Amen. But I'm telling you something. God is not of this world. Come on. And God is calling us out of this world. Amen. He's calling us out of this world. He didn't say that he wants us to be taken out of the world, but he wants us to, to be taken away from the evil. Amen. Come on, we're going to be in this world. Let's allow God, the power of the Holy Ghost, amen, to take us away from the evil, to separate us away from the things that, hallelujah, hinder our progression forward in God. This is why, hallelujah. Amen. People come to church and don't get breakthrough. Ah, come on. The devil is a liar. Amen. When, when there's a lot of profane and mixture going, amen, you have a great praise break and you, you shout and you dance and you still sinning. Still sinning. 
sinning, all right? Yes, I know we all fall short of the glory of God. We all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but I'm looking for some people. God is looking for some people, amen, that will, will acknowledge, yes, I've sinned, amen, and yes, I have the propensity to sin at any moment, hallelujah, amen, but I believe God, amen. I believe you are able to sustain me and keep me, amen. I'm no longer a slave to sin, amen. Sin don't control me. You don't have the rule over my life. Anybody believe in the power of the gospel? Elijah had to take them down to Mount Carmel because they needed to have an, ex an experience. They needed to encounter true holiness. They needed to see what a real God is. Amen. And this is why we need to fight. Don't get quiet now. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to live this thing. We're going to live this walk. We're going to talk this walk. Amen. Because people need a real experience with God. They need a real encounter that will quicken them, that will change their lives. Amen. Come to Mount Carmel with all your false raggedy prophets, amen, and we're going to have an experiment, amen, I want you to get your sacrifice, and, and we're going to have our sacrifices, and, and the God that answers, amen, that is the true God, and you know the story, if you read it, amen, we skipped over that part, hallelujah, but they began to cry out, they made their, their sacrifices with the wood and all of those things, hallelujah, and they began to cry out to the God that they serve, Baal, amen, they began to reach for him and cry and they got to a place where they began to cut themselves and they began to they began to get weary because he wasn't answering them. Let me tell you, that's what the time that we're living in, amen. Hallelujah. When we go after these false methods and ways and influences, amen, we are leading people to a God that is not delivering them. We're leading people to a God that is not transforming them with a renewing of their minds. Hallelujah. Folks coming to church, hallelujah, amen. And they ain't walking in Christ. They walking out, walking out, walking out, right? And they walking right out the church, right back in the sin. Hallelujah. Amen. But God is, wants to bring us into a, a, an experience with him. Amen. We see Baal and the false prophets. They, God didn't answer them. Elijah got annoyed. All right, y'all. Y'all raggedy God. Amen. He ain't coming by for you. Maybe you need to do this. Maybe you need to try that. Amen. Hallelujah. You find out he wouldn't answer them. Him. Oh, but the God of Elijah, come on, come on, I'm talking about the God of Elijah, I'm talking about the God of Abraham, I'm talking about the God of Isaac, I'm talking about the God that is from everlasting to everlasting, he is God. How many still believe in that God? All right? You got to believe in that God. You got to believe in that power. You got to believe in that authority. Elijah calls him, and then you find out that that God answers him. That God answers. Our God answers. And the Bible lets us know, hallelujah, here in verse 36, as we're closing here, hallelujah, amen, when this God began to answer and burn up all the sacrifice, licked it all dry, hallelujah, amen. Verse 37, he said, hear me, O Lord. Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their hearts back again. Let me tell you, God is calling our hearts back to wholeness. God is calling our hearts back to holiness. God is calling our hearts back to righteousness and right living. Come on, y'all. God is calling us, amen, to come out of carnality, to come out of, hallelujah, this raggedy lifestyle that you're not winning in. All right? All right. Amen. God wants to send a fire. God wants to have some encounters. Amen. Pe that people may know that, that he is God. Let me tell you, the people saw the encounter with Elijah, and their faces fell to the ground, and they began to declare the Lord. Amen. He is the God, the Lord. He is the God. That was their encounter, y'all. Let me tell you, we ought to be grateful as we stand to our feet, as we close out. Amen. We had an encounter. Amen. Hallelujah. When they were beginning to, to harass Jesus, they harassed Jesus. 
Amen. So is a sign. Amen. So is a sign. He said, ain't no sign going to be given to you. Amen. You better remember the sign of Jonah and how he was three days in the belly of a whale. Amen. And how he came out of that, that third day. Amen. What is our sign, Pastor D? Amen. We have a God that wrapped himself in flesh and he dwelt among us and he lived. Amen. Perfect and righteous among us. And what did he do? He came with purpose and for a reason to take our sins, hallelujah, to that rugged cross, hallelujah, so that he can nail our sins to the cross. He can nail our shame. He can nail our issues. He can nail those things that kept us nailed to sin, hallelujah. He nailed it to the cross, amen. And he was buried, but on the third day, everybody shout the third day. Don't get quiet now. Somebody shout the third day. See, it was the third day. This is why we celebrate. This is why we magnify him. Amen. Because that same power that rose Christ from the grave on that third day, amen, is the same power that is quickening us and, and brought us out of sin. It's the same power. Hallelujah. Back on August, hallelujah, 20th, 2003, amen, the same power that rose Christ from the grave was the same power when I was laying on my bedside. I didn't need no raggedy church service that, that conformed to the world to get me to come to the church. I just needed a God that loved me. Amen. Hallelujah. And his loving kindness, he began to draw us. Amen. His loving kindness drew me right to my knees on my bedside and I began to cry out. Hallelujah. You are the Lord. You are the Lord, the God of all gods. I began to cry out to God because I needed something greater than me. I needed something that can keep me and, and help my mind. Amen. I didn't want to lose my marriage. I didn't want to. I just got married 12 days before, 11 days before, and I didn't want to mess up my marriage. I didn't want to mess up my life. I wanted to, 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 to complete a promise that I made to him. But if I'm going to complete this promise, God, I need you to save me. I need you to save me with some real power. I need you to save me with a real gospel, amen. Not a tainted gospel, not a perverted gospel, not a deceptive gospel. I need something that's real, amen. I thank God that same power that rose him from the grave on the third day rose me up from my bedside, hallelujah, filled with the power of the Holy Ghost speaking with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave me the utterance, amen. And I had an addiction on my life. Amen. I had an addiction I was bound to. Amen. For a number of years. Hallelujah. Amen. Perversion had me bound and trapped. Amen. But let me tell you, when God filled me with the Holy Ghost, amen, perversion fell immediately off my life fell off my life. Amen. It fell off. It had no, it no longer had control over me. It no longer had me bound. I no longer had a desire to peek and look at social things. It wasn't even all that stuff back then. It's so much access now. Amen. It was just peeking out then. Amen. Hallelujah. But even down through the years, I, I don't have a desire to look at stuff I shouldn't look at. Amen. I don't have a desire to indulge in things that I shouldn't be indulging in. Why? Because the power of the Holy Ghost. How many grateful for the power of the Holy Ghost? Amen. Let me tell you, and if you don't understand the power of the Holy Ghost, you better get a hold of it. This is why we can't be quiet now. Amen. Hallelujah. It is God that saves. Amen. He saves. He's the only one that can save. He's the only, only one. Anybody grateful? Anybody a testify with your praise? The Bible says, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Come on, don't get quiet quiet now. Come on. God, where's the people that's been redeemed from the hand of the enemy? Where's the people? You've been, you've been bound in some addiction. You've been bound in secret sin. You've been bound in some things. Amen. But you found out the Holy Ghost is able. He's able to bring you out. He's able to bring us out. Amen. And this is why we're grateful for the power of God. This is why we can't be quiet. Amen. This is why we can't shut up. This is why we got to cry loud. This is why we can't mix the gospel. We're not going to mix in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, you're never going to grow a church like them. Let me tell you. Hallelujah. Come on. I'd rather pastor five saved folks and make it in the pearly gates. I'd rather pastor five saved folks 
than to pastor 5,000 folks and got to give an account for 5,000 folks who didn't get a hold of the gospel, that didn't get a hold of holiness, that didn't get a hold of the power of the new birth experience. And then we got to depart from me, your workers of iniquity. I never knew you. I never knew you. Come on, the devil is a lie. This is why we ought to celebrate right now. Amen. Come on. That we got a hold of something that's real. We got a hold of something that's sustainable. We ought to lift up our hands and shout hallelujah. Amen. Because God reached down into our shame and pain and, and he, he pulled us out. Amen. With his long arm, he reached down and, and pulled us out of this sin. Amen. He heard us crying when we were stuck and slaves to sin. And he said, all right, son and daughter, come on, it's not my will that you should perish, but that you you should come to repentance. I'm going to help you get a hold of a transformed mind. Any grateful folks in here this afternoon? God is calling us. God is calling us to holiness. All right? If you look on our banner, come on. But as he which has called you is holy. First Peter 1, 15 and 16. All right? So be ye holy in all manner of what? conversation because it's written what be ye holy for what i am holy y'all again we're not talking about religion we're not talking about no holiness is a beautiful thing all right we ought to live the rest of our lives figuring out how to separate ourselves from carnality and worldliness all right and 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 figuring out how to give ourselves more over to the things of the lord to be set apart for his glory set apart for his use all right and so that we can walk and be the praise of god y'all we ought to be the praise of god come on y'all don't get quiet now amen don't don't hide your light now amen let's let our walk speak volumes Let's let our walk with God shout. I ain't talking about always saying something. But when we walk in the room, our, our, our lifestyle, our praise ought to shout the glory of God. All right? When people see us, they ought to see the Father. They ought to see the goodness of God. They ought to see hope. They ought to see mercy. They ought to see goodness. They ought to see power. They ought to see grace. When people walk in our midst, they ought to, there ought to be something that stirs up in them. Let me tell you, when Mary walked in the house of Elizabeth, her cousin, Elizabeth was pregnant with John the Baptist, and Mary comes in the house pregnant with Jesus. Amen? And as soon as she walked in the room, the Bible Bible says the babe leaped in Elizabeth's stomach, amen, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you, people, I hear your Holy Ghost, amen. Come on, don't get quiet now. Amen. I hear your Holy Ghost. We ought to be able to walk and connect with people. Amen. And we ought to be able to get in their midst and some things begin to birth in them. Amen. We ought to be able to be able to speak life into folks. Amen. People's lives ought to be upgraded because they're in our presence. Amen. People ought to leave out differently than when we first met them because there's something different about the people of God. We are his praise. Anybody want to be the praise of God? Come on. I dare you to lift up your hands and begin to magnify him. Go ahead and clap your hands and, and begin to, come on God, make me like you. Make me love like you. Come on. Make me pray. Help me to pray like you. Help me to help, help me to be merciful like you. Help me to be just and, and help me to show goodness and, and have joy and peace in my spirit. God, help me to be saved. I want to be saved. Come on, lift your hands right time. Come on, lift your hands. I want you to begin to talk to God. Come on, let's talk to him. Come on, don't get, don't be quiet now. Come on, come on, if we're going to live this walk, amen. Come on, if we're going to live for God for real, amen. Your prayer can't be quiet, amen. This time out for quiet prayers in 2024, all right. If we're going to be all in, amen, we're going to open our mouths and we're going to cry out to God, amen. Hallelujah, come on. He is near to the broken and hearted. He's near to them that really want to be saved, that really they want to be touched. Come on, seek me and you shall find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Come on, come on, let's search for him with all of our hearts. Come on, God, I need all of you. Hallelujah. God, I need all of you, God. God, be in all of me, God. You can have access to every part of me, every part of me, God. You can enter in. God, I need you to be on the throne of my heart. 
Come on, it's too quiet in here. Come on, let's open up our voices. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, hallelujah. It's time to build ourselves up in our most holy faith. It's time to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, you can't be holy if you don't pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, how are we going to be saved if we ain't sanctified? Come on, how are we going to get a hold of God and we don't open up our hearts? Out of the abundance of our heart, our mouth speak. Let's let God get deep down in our hearts. Let him get deep down in our minds. God, I'm here hallelujah God if you can use anything you can use me you can use me Lord I'm available to you how many want to be available to him come on if you want to be available come on there's no middle crown if you don't totally give yourself to him you're going to be available to the adversary there's no middle crown here amen you're either for God or you're for the adversary amen don't get halt between two opinions amen come on you can lift up your voice right now God I give you all of me I give you all of me hallelujah I give you all of me. Where are you, son, daughter? Come on, where are you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are you? Amen. You just need a little bit. You need a little more touch. Amen. You just need somebody to ha, pray with you. Where are you? You ought to meet us at this altar. Amen. Ha, I want to be saved. I, I, I believe, God, but, but help my unbelief. God, I, I want to be righteous, God, but there, there's some, maybe some parts of me I just need. I need to grow in my understanding. I need to grow in wisdom. I need to grow. I need to, I need to have a heart's desire to get a hold of instruction. God, help me to get Get a hold of patience, God. Help me not to run when tribulations come, amen, because I know it's here to work patience in me. Hallelujah. Come on, you ought to open your voice. Come on, you ought to lift up your voice, people of God. I'm telling you right now, hallelujah. All this quiet prayers and praying in your mind, hallelujah. Hallelujah, that is a spirit of dumb, amen. And I come right now, I rebuke and bind the spirit of dumb, amen. Hallelujah, that will help and cop up your praise, amen. It will stop up your prayer. You ought to open up your mouth, hallelujah. I won't let the devil mute my mouth this year, amen. I'm all in, my mind's all in, my voice is all in. My heart is all in. Hallelujah. I will walk in deliverance. I will walk in freedom. I will walk, hallelujah, in peace. I will overcome. I will be more than an overcomer through Christ Jesus who loves me. Father, we bless you. We bless you. Come on, there it is. Come on. Come on, go after your God. Come on. He is the Lord God. Come on. He's the Lord. He is the God. He is the God. He is the big G-O-D. Hallelujah. We don't serve a little G-O-D. We don't serve a puny God. Amen. That can't reach down and help us. We don't serve a God with limited knowledge and understanding. We serve a God with infinite understanding. We serve a God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That delights in, in sharing and revealing himself to us. Come on, let God reveal his purpose in your life. Let God reveal destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we come to you, oh God. Father, because you are the only help that we know, oh God. Hallelujah, God, we come to you, oh Father, as we made declarations to be all in, oh God. God, that it's our desires, oh God, to be holy, oh Father. But God, we understand, oh God, there are things that we need to lay at your feet, oh God. Hallelujah, God, there are things that we need to purge and that we need to get rid of, oh Father. Father. Hallelujah. God, as you begin to search us, oh God. God, we ask that you cleanse us, oh Father. Oh God, I'm all shy. God, even purge us of our secret faults, oh God. God, for we want to be like you, oh God. God, we want to be like you, oh God. Oh God, we want to be obedient to your will, oh God. Oh God, on our life, oh Father. Oh God, teach us, oh God, how to follow your instructions, oh God. Hallelujah. Teach us, oh God. Oh, God, to seek wisdom from above, oh, Father. Hallelujah, God, we don't want to miss your mind, oh, God. God, we feel this season of urgency, oh, Father. God, and we know, hallelujah, God, that we got to get it right, God. God, we got to be saved, God. We got to be whole, God. We got to be right, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, just see us at the altar, Father. 
God, and as we're asking you for help, Lord Jesus, as we're asking you, oh God, your Messiah, oh God, to come and deliver us, oh God. God, we ask that you hear us, Lord Jesus. God, we bring to you everything, 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 Jesus. God, leaving nothing, oh God. God, anything that we may have done, anything that we may have lent ourselves to, God, that was not like you, God, here at this altar, Lord Jesus. Oh God. God begin to purge us, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, help us not to sit through another altar call, God, and not get the help that we need, oh God. Not to sit here, oh God, and go back out into things that we have no business, oh Father. Jesus, Jesus. Oh God, help us, oh God. Oh God, to denounce everything that is not like you, oh God. Oh God, hallelujah, every area of witchcraft has been dabbled in, oh God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Every time we lean to our own understanding, God, every wound that we haven't allowed you to heal, oh God, God, this day, today, this day, we come in the name of Jesus. Every wall, oh, Every wall that we put up, God, due to disappointment, Lord Jesus. God, we ask that you tear it down. Brick by brick, tear it down, God. And God, give us strength, oh God. Give us strength to endure the refining process, Father. Oh God, strength to endure the process, God. Oh God, to fight as good soldiers, oh God. Oh God, is there anybody out there that wants to be holy? Is there anybody out there who wants to be holy? God, because we got to make it. We got to make it. Amplify your voice above our thoughts. God, amplify your voice above our thoughts. Thoughts of distractions, God. Thoughts of doubt, God. Thoughts of fear, God. Help us to remember that the only safety is in you, God. God, that it's not in any other vice, oh God, it's not in any other person, oh God. God, that the safety is in you, Father. you want to be holy you gotta cry out to him for yourself stop waiting on somebody to come and lay hands hallelujah there are those in the house that are so bound that you can't be free because you won't open your mouth hallelujah you gotta open your mouth hey shama come on you gotta give it to him you got to give it to him. You're trying to keep it all up inside. Hallelujah. For his 
yoke is easy and his burden is light. Give it to him. Come on, he's trying to break some stuff, but you're fighting the wrong fight. You're fighting against the one, hallelujah, who holds our power when he wants you to give it to him so he can fight for you. Hayamosha, just give it to him. Let God be God. Let God be God. Hirosaya. Oh, Kiralaboshia. I come in the name of Jesus against every extra voice in your life. Every extra voice in your life. Come on, Sha. The ones that you can't drown out. The ones that you hear in the midnight hour when no one else is around. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, it's got to go. How about Sha? Oh, God, in your name, Jesus. Every voice that is coming to destroy must go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all sheep know your voice and another they shall not hearken. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, circle of hope. We're not going to die being bound. Hallelujah. We're not going to die being bound when we can be free. We don't just got to sing about being free. You can be free. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. God, I come against every blockage, oh, God. God, that is hindering someone from coming out of sin in this place. God, remove the blockage, God. God, so that they can come out, oh God. That they understand being separate, oh God. Hallelujah. That they begin to take on new mannerisms, oh God. God, that they begin to sound like you, God. They begin to look like you, God. Hallelujah. God, that their heart's desire is to please you, Jesus. Oh God. God, break off the sin, God. Break off the sin, God. Break off the sin, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help them to mortify the deeds of their flesh, God. Oh, God, every lustful spirit has to bow in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of deception must go in the name of Jesus. Hey. Every lying tongue must cease in the name of Jesus. We are called to be your sons and daughters. God, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, oh God. Hamoshiah. And we shall not lift up profane praise in your presence, for you are holy. God, you are holy. You are holy.
can have my praise, it's yours anyway. You can have my praise, it's yours anyway. You can have my praise, it's yours anyway. You can have my praise, it's yours anyway. For the rest of my days, it's yours anyway. For the rest of my days, it's yours anyway. My praise is yours anyway, for the rest my days is yours anyway. Let's go ahead and stand to our feet as we dismiss. We all heard the word of the Lord. All right. Everybody shout, don't get quiet now. All right. Don't get quiet now. All right. We're going to live this faith. 
We're going to talk the walk, live the walk, declare this walk, and God's going to be magnified, right? And we're going to be blessed by it. And so uh, <coughs> let's make up our minds even now, right? This year, we're going to be committed. We're going to be connected. Everybody say committed. committed. Connected. Connected. Consecrated. Consecrated. All right? Committed. committed. Connected. Connected. Consecrated. Look, y'all, y'all can't miss. We can't miss with that, right? Being committed, connected, consecrated. All right? I just put that in my spirit just right now. Committed, connected, consecrated. All right? So as we close out, just giving us an opportunity, right, to partner. Amen. We appreciate everyone that sows and supports the work of the ministry. Amen. And helps us to do what we need to do. And so, we say it always, we're not begging, pumping, or priming, but let me tell you, if you're committed, and you're connected, and you're consecrated, we don't got to beg, we don't got to beg for no offerings, right? Because I, I want to give, I want to be a part of what God is doing, I want to be a part of this next move of God, right? And so, let's go ahead and stand, um, we're going to allow our deep to bless this offering, I know uh, how many of our babies ready to be upgraded. I see a couple. They ready to be upgraded this year. Look, look, they got. They went from one dollar in 2023. They gonna get a double blessing this year, huh? They, 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 they two dollar offerings. I know we all, amen, give electronically, but our babies they give, y'all. And so look, they ready. Look, we got to come as these babies. They excited about they upgrade. <laughs> All right, so um, God bless those of you watching with us online and that supports the work. You see the multiple ways to give if you're here. We give uh, Cash App, that is dollar sign, Circle of Hope, FLC. Uh, it's the same with Zelle and GiveLafly. That email is circleofhopeflc at gmail.com. Uh, and so we appreciate all of your support. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank you for this day, Lord God. We just thank you, Lord God, because you are great, Lord God. You are a provider, Lord God. Uh, you are a way maker, Lord God, and you're able, Lord God. We just thank you, Lord God, uh, for what you've done and what you're doing and what you will do, Lord God, because you are mighty, Lord God, and you're worthy. We just thank you, Lord God. We ask that you just be pleased with our sacrifice, Lord God. Bless those that are able to give and bless those that are not able to give, Lord God. We just ask that you just continue to bless us, Lord God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give it this time. <coughs> babies. Bless. They dance and love. They're excited. Let's clap our hands for the babies, y'all. And let's... Let's give, let's give, let's stretch your hands to Sister Kimmy J over here, Kimmy J Walter. <laughs> Her class was, was deep this morning. <laughs> All right, we, we gonna pray for, uh, she gonna need two assistants. All right, right, she gonna need two assistants. That class was fat for Sunday school. But look, keep bringing your babies to Sunday school. All right, keep them connected. All right, and, and watch God raise them up and they will not depart. All right, let's close out. Let the words of my mouth, the meditations of our hearts, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. God bless you all. We love you in Jesus' name.